Hello everyone, Ern Dorm here. Today I'm going to be having a look at the Marvel Select Ultimate Iron Man. And this Iron Man is pretty different from your traditional Iron Man figures. I really like the design of the suit. He comes with a really cool display base as well. Really nice picture on the side. Some more stuff on the back. A little read up if you want to read it you can pause it. And that's all for the packaging so now I'm going to get him out of this so we can have a closer look at him and his stand. Okay so now I have my Ultimate Iron Man out of packaging and this base comes in five or six pieces and there's really no instructions on how to put it together. So I'm going to show you how to put it together because I think I've seen a few people put it together wrong. So you have these that go on the inside here and a lot of people put them like that but I'm pretty sure that this black pad goes on the inside because his feet would scoot right up into that really nicely and then these longer ones go in this direction and you actually have a couple little paint marks to show you how they go Okay, and then you get this wiring that plugs into the suit. You actually have three separate wires, a blue, a red, and a green. And they plug right in the back of this contraption here. And you only have three wires, and you have six holes, and the Iron Man actually has places to put these in each arm. So I'm actually going to do two on one side and one on the other. So there is the stand all complete. So this is Marvel Select 7 inch scale figure, but this one still is a little bit larger of a figure. It actually stands almost 7.5 inches. Now to have a look at the figure itself. This is a really nice sculpted figure, and I've heard a lot of complaints about it. Mostly over the articulation, which it doesn't really bother me because when I have it displayed, I will have it displayed in that very, very nice base they included. And the articulation isn't that bad. You have a ball joint, but it's down in the neck. I don't. The top of the head don't actually move. It's the whole neck itself. You can get it all the way around. He looks down a little bit. Doesn't look up very well, but still, that's not that bad. His shoulders movement is a little different. They will go all the way around, but then they kind of notch out. See, you have that big pit hole there after you do it but it does notch out so it will move out at least and you do get some ab crunch he will go back some and he does rotate all the way around there then his leg it will go forward it'll go back and then it will notch out some which this gets in the way a little bit but it does have a little ratcheted joint there the knee will swivel but it won't bend so that is a little bit frustrating there but not that bad and then his big turtle feet, they will go down, and they do have some pivot in there, but they have this big bar around it, so it, it doesn't move a whole lot. But it should help you with getting him to stand. So that's not too bad for the articulation. And this Iron Man is actually from an alternate universe of Iron Man, and he has, like, brain cancer or brain tumor that's growing. And this suit, I think, keeps him alive, which I really like this suit. I mean, I think it looks really cool, a lot different from the other suits. And to get those wires in his arm, these actually pop off in two pieces. And it exposes, it looks like big soldered in plugs in his arm. I mean, that looks painful. I don't know how he did that, but... You even got some little hair drawn in there, which is really cool. And that actually works on both sides. You can pop both sides off and expose those holes. So I think that's really nice. I think he looks cool without those gauntlets on anyways. I think that looks really nice. I wish you could have popped the helmet apart and had a Tony Stark under there. But, you know, it's nice that you get this because that's a really nice displaying option to take those off. Those gloves look cool still on, too. So, all in all, I'm really happy with the figure. I think it's really nice. And these figures only cost you about $20, $25. And, I mean, that base is worth $20, $25.
But now I'm going to hook him up on that base and show you guys what he looks like on there. So there he is hooked up on that base. And you have your own options of doing all three on one side or two on one side, one on the other. You can arrange them however you want. That's just how I wanted to do it. But I am going to get some poses out of this figure now and see what we can come up with. So that's my review of the Marvel Select Ultimate Iron Man. That is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up with my videos. Thank you guys. Bye.